seconds. Okay, so everybody tell me, what month are we in right now? We are in the month of? April. 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 Good job. And if yesterday was Hi. April 28th, today will be April? 29. Oh, I hear some 29s. Tell me if you're right. Are you right? Yeah. Yes, good job. And if yesterday was Tuesday, today is what? What? Wednesday. Wednesday. Good. Now everybody say it with me. Today is Wednesday. Wednesday. April. Twenty-nine. Oh, Good job. All right. Now. There is a special little insect that turns into something even more special in the springtime. Why? What do you think that is that I'm talking about? Uh, is a caterpillar turn into a butterfly? Oh, Elliot or Wyatt is right. So guess what? My story today. Right, pretty soon you guys should start seeing a lot more butterflies flying around. So my story today is the crunching, munching caterpillar. We're going to find out what happens to this caterpillar. I am going to go ahead and put you all on mute so you can all hear me and we will get started with the story. All right. The Crunchy Munching Caterpillar by Sheridan Kane and Jack Tickle. His last name is Tickle. That's a silly one. All right. Caterpillar was always hungry. For weeks, he crunched and munched his way through the fresh, juicy leaves of a blackberry bush. One day, Caterpillar was about to crunch into another leaf when... Crunch, crunch, munch, munch. Buzz. Bumblebee landed beside him. Wow, said Caterpillar. How did you get here? Simple, said Bumblebee. I have wings. Look. Oh, I'd like some of those, said Caterpillar. Caterpillar wants some of those wings. Bumblebee flew up into the air and bu buzzed busily from flower to flower. I'd love to fly like that, said Caterpillar. Well, you can't, said Bumblebee. I've got wings and you've got legs. Your legs are for walking. I guess so, sighed Caterpillar, and he was feeling kind of sad. Bumblebee flew off to the next bush. Watching Bumblebee fly had made Caterpillar very hungry, so he crunched and he munched until it was time for bed. Crunch, munch, crunch, munch, yawn. Getting sleepy. Caterpillar woke to the sound of twittering. Birds swooped and soared in the early morning light. Caterpillar was just about to start his breakfast when... Sparrow landed beside him. I'd love to fly high in the air like that, said Caterpillar. Well, you can't, said Sparrow. You need to be as light as the dandelion clock that floats on the breeze. You're far too fat to fly. Your legs are for walking. I guess so, said Caterpillar glumly. Glumly means he's kind of feeling glummy and sad. Caterpillar carried on crunching, munching all day until the light began to dim. He wrapped a leaf around himself to keep warm. He was just about to go to sleep when... Butterfly landed gracefully beside him. Oh, I wish I could fly like you, sighed Caterpillar, but I'm too fat and I have legs instead of wings. Butterfly smiled a secret, knowing smile. Who knows, perhaps one day you will fly, light as a feather like me, she said. But now, little caterpillar, you should go to sleep. You look very tired. And some of you might already know what's going to happen to this caterpillar. Butterfly was right. Caterpillar suddenly felt very sleepy. As butterfly flew off into the night sky, he fell into a deep, deep sleep. Butterfly's flying away and caterpillar's going to sleep. Caterpillar slept all through the winter and his sleep was filled with dreams. He dreamed he had wings and was soaring in the blue sky above the tall trees. 
He dreamed he was a dandelion clock drifting towards the sun. He dreamed he was as light as a feather floating on the breeze. When Caterpillar woke up, he felt the warmth of the spring sun. He was stiff from his long sleep, but he did not feel very hungry. He stretched and he stretched. And a breeze lifted Caterpillar into the air. He was no longer short and plump. He had wings. Great, big, wonderful butterfly wings. The end. I meet you all. All right, so story. why yeah. it was right. What did the caterpillar turn into? A butterfly. A butterfly, a beautiful butterfly. And do, we haven't talked about this yet, but do any of you know what that is called when the caterpillar goes into something special? And a cocoon. Oh, hang on. Cocoon. Wait, 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 wait. I was good. I'm gonna call on hands for this one. A cocoon is one word. Does anybody know the other word? Elliot. Chrysalis. Do you know? Chrysalis. Yes, a caterpillar forms a really cool little thing called a chrysalis or a cocoon. And that's where he sits and waits for a very long time. And when he comes out, he is a butterfly. All right. Now let's raise some hands if we have something I know what it is. For you, if you have any questions, Charlie, go ahead. Um, the caterpillar didn't know he he could turn to a butterfly. Right, he didn't, did he? He thought he was going to be stuck the whole time, like a caterpillar. So that was probably a nice surprise when he woke up. Um, Bridget, did you have something you wanted to say? All that Jason just said, and you said I can show something. I did. You go ahead. You show that. I, my grandma got me this. It's a purse. That's a beautiful purse. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, friends. So let's go over today. Oh, Scarlett, do you have another question before I get going? Or something you want to say? The Kakuna is also in Pokemon Go. Um, the Kakuna has a bee that comes out of it and it turns into a bee and then oh, it in flies. In Pokemon Go that happens? Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. Awesome. All right, for today's work, you get to watch the Jack Hartman video on the uh, Word family. So that should be fun. And then do this um, worksheet has ut word family words and un word family words. Okay, so this one's a color, find it in color. Find it and circle it. And on the back, you have a little graph. So you have to find your words and how many times you find those words. Um, oh, you have a story to read today. Frog is hungry. And a couple of, and one worksheet to go with that story. Okay. And then, of course, your journal page. And you only have one white math work today. It says two, wait, hang on, I'm sorry, that's tomorrow. You do have two white math worksheets. And of course, math today, let me tell you right now, is easy peasy, what? Lemon squeezy. Lemon squeezy. This was the shortest video I did because it was so easy. I couldn't even believe it. So don't even worry about math today. And then, for Scholastic, you're gonna learn about a little bit about an author, and if you watch the video to go with it, you can learn how to draw one of her characters. She's going to teach you how. All right. So that is your work for today. Are there any questions to go with that, Bridget? Uh, <laughs> well, there was a big storm outside last night. There was a big storm last night. Yes. I know. I saw it too. Me Lots too. Of rain. Yeah, raise your hand if you saw the storm. Mm-hmm. Tell her what happened to our greenhouse. Miss Miller. Yes. Our greenhouse blew down by the rain. Oh, no. Are you going to be able to fix it? No? Are all the plants ruined? We have to buy another greenhouse. Oh, no. Yeah, that's a good idea, Dominic. Maybe you have to just get a new greenhouse. Can you maybe do that? Yeah, we're gonna, great idea. We're gonna, try to, we're gonna try to rebuild. 
rebuild even better. Rebuild it, nice. Well, I haven't had a oh. green apple. There's a hole in my pants. Oh, hang on, I see two hands. Lauren, what do you want to say, honey? Um, my chair blew over in the storm. Oh no! I have a couple things that blew over in the storm too. I just hung some lights on my back patio, and some of those fell off. Scarlett, what do you want to say? But this bench is good. The lightning also had a big wind like this when we were watching the speed global me, and it woke me up when I was sleeping. Oh my goodness, it was a nasty storm. Lightning, winds, rain. Elliot, go ahead. Yeah. I have a blueberry and raspberry bush. They're in their pots right now, but we're not putting, we didn't put them in the ground yet, but, and they got blew over by the storm. Oh no! Are, do they look okay? Did you were you yeah. able to pick them up? Well, we didn't pick them up yet. Okay. Well, maybe when you do, hopefully they'll be okay. Hopefully. Um, Wyatt, go ahead. Uh, when I was sleeping, I didn't hear anything. I didn't either. I it didn't wake me up. So we're lucky. We had a good night's sleep. Me too. Wyatt, did you hear anything before you went to sleep? Uh, no. No? Okay. Dominic, I like that hand. Um, I couldn't even sleep because of the big storm. Oh, no. Maybe you can take a little nap today. Oh, take a little nap. Make yourself feel better. I'm Scarlett. Last one, and then we're going to go ahead and get going so you guys can get to work. Go ahead, Scarlett. We made a house box and then it got destroyed from the lightning oh no yeah storms it was Nora. it was Nora's. maybe you can rebuild maybe you can build another one all right yeah we're gonna find a new another big box that'll be a nice project for you all right friends um nice talking to you this morning you guys go ahead and get your work started okay and if you I'm gonna go ahead and stop. If you have something else you wanna say, you can stay on. So Bridget, just hang on tight. And the rest of you, I will see you tomorrow, Bye. all right? Bye. Bye, friends. Bye. Okay. Bye, Lauren. <laughs>